Hey guys, my name is Clinton Jones, and I want to show you how you can add any 3D character to your custom motion capture data. Now this may seem like a very specific thing, but I'm currently running a render challenge where I'm providing you with this animation and challenging you to build it out however you see fit. One of the biggest questions I received so far is how do I switch out the character model? So I'll show you how to do that, how you would do it if you're trying to use a custom photo scan that you may have created yourself, and even how to animate extra movement on top of the current animation. So let's start by slapping a Mixamo character onto this custom data that I recorded with my Rococo motion capture suit. Once you find the character you like, let's search for T-Pose, select it and export this data. The reason we want our character in T-Pose is because frame zero of our custom mocap data is also in T-Pose and is the easiest way to combine an animated skeleton and a static character together. Otherwise, you'd have to manually tweak every single joint. Most mocap softwares offer the frame zero T-Pose as an option and Rococo Studio does this by default. Now, once you have your animated skeleton and your static character mesh stacked on top of each other in Cinema 4D, the goal is to pair the skeleton movement to the character mesh. It works best when the joints are lined up as close as possible. Notice how the thumbs are off? Now, this will be a good example of a glitchy kind of look here. You guys will see it once we pair them up. Let's give both joints a character definition tag. In the tag, let's select Open Manager. We'll extract skeleton and set reference pose. What we're doing is telling C4D to look at the hierarchy of joints as they are and lock them in as our base pose. When we follow the exact same steps for the other joint structure, extract skeleton and set reference pose, we now have two animated joints on the same playing field ready to communicate with each other. To connect them, let's select the character definition tag on our Mixamo joints and select create solver. Then we'll drag the character definition tag from our custom mocap data into the source character slot. And bam, look at that, we are connected. Hey, I wanna give a quick shout out to my gaming audience. And as a big gamer myself, I'm proud to announce that today's video is sponsored by World of Warships. World of Warships is a free to play team based sea strategy game available for PC. The game features over 400 beautifully modeled, customizable ships that you can command through unique terrain. You guys know I'm a fan of atmosphere in all my renders, so naturally I dig the weather changing system they've integrated into the game. World of Warships currently has more than 44 million players worldwide and four different warship types to choose from. Destroyers, which rely on speed and maneuverability. Battleships are the heavies with thick armor and huge guns. The cruiser is your well-rounded attack and defense ship. And guys, don't forget the aircraft carriers. Those are the masters of recon and surprise airstrikes. So dive in and download World of Warships using the link in the description and use the promo code BOOM during registration to unlock 200 balloons Two ships, the St. Louis and the premium Emden ship, along with 20 times Restless Fire Camo, 2.5 million credits, and seven days of a premium account. But notice those thumbs though. The closer the joints are to each other in T-Pose, the better the end result. We can zero out those values and rotate the thumb a bit to clean it up. But what if Mixamo doesn't have the character you wanna use? What if you wanna photo scan yourself and connect that to the custom mocap data? Upload your photo scan to Mixamo and take advantage of their auto rig feature. It's wonderful. Line up all the joints and you'll get an auto rigged, auto animated version of yourself. Pretty sweet. Just throw it in T-Pose, export it, and follow the steps we just went over to get it moving. But we're not done, because what if you want to adjust the animated rig for whatever reason? Or maybe you want to add some additional animation on top of the already animated character. Select the custom mocap data that's driving your character mesh, go to animate, and let's add a motion clip. Make sure you uncheck the remove included animation from original object checkbox, and let's just hit OK. Press Shift F3 to open up your timeline and switch over to motion clip view where we can see our layer here. Let's select the motion tag on our animated skeleton and add a layer. And let's make sure to drag it above the original layer. I'll rename this to arm movement. So if we grab the arm joint, adjust it and make a keyframe, this will be the new position for the arms. And you can animate them over time by adding more keyframes. This can be done for any part of the animated skeleton. But keep in mind, if you're participating in the alternate realities competition, you can only adjust the shoulders down. Don't touch anything else. So if you guys want to participate in the internet's most epic CG challenge, then check out this video right up here. And if y'all like this quick tip style video, then leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys would like to learn next in this short time frame. Until then, I'll see you guys on my Saturday morning CG live streams, where I'm currently building out the most ambitious environment I've ever created. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.